Katie in Arizona says that these shows have a belief in science that is no different to a belief in God. So I'm going to bring you on. Interesting. Can you hear us, Katie? How are you guys? Hi, Katie. Uh, Superb. What's on your mind? Um, Okay, so I've been watching these shows quite a bit. It's really good stuff. A lot of really good stuff. Um, I used to call myself an atheist until I encountered you guys, though, because I'm not, I can't align myself with your um, beliefs. And I know, you know, I, I was of the mind that it, atheist, it's not a belief, so it doesn't have to be defended. But you guys have said some things today that need to be defended. Um, at one of them, Jamie, I would like you to produce all that research that proves that all crop circles are fake, were faked by somebody, and have, and have uh, rational explanations. Where, where, are they, where did you find those studies? So I, I, I could... I could. Um, go and look into that, but the, the the caveat is is that the 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 problem with the burden of proof is that I can take any given crop crop circle and find evidence for its fakery, but the people claiming prove, that they are can you prove? Uh, I, I don't know whether I can prove it for every single crop circle ever recorded. It depends if people have investigated. But I would, if I were a betting man, I would put money on every single crop circle that has been scientifically investigated has been found to be man-made. And if you can provide contrary evidence to that, then groovy. Now, can I prove that every crop circle ever has been man-made? No, because not every crop circle ever has been investigated. But every investigation, I believe, will bear bear, uh, that it was man-made. And the complete lack of any other evidence for incursion of aliens or other scientific, uh, um, sorry, supernatural entities would lead us to believe that we can possibly conclude that crop circles are man-made because we have no evidence for any other cause and we have plenty of go ahead you just proved god to me if, if we were talking about god with same exact ar- uh, argument that that believers make you know <laughs> you didn't, oh, no. I, I how do you square that how do you square that uh, so every time a god every time a god claim Look, let me say this, Katie. Every time a God claim has been investigated, God's missing. So how does that prove God? Nobody's proved how people fake crop circles either, but let's not, let's not get stuck on crop circles. That just stuck out to me because I've, I've read about them a lot. I don't have an opinion on them very much, but um, they're not, they're definitely not explained. And there are no, what you said was 100% inaccurate. You said, <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's stop there then. You said they are definitely not explained. What, what, what is the evidence of that? The fact that there is no evidence, but they, they, they have theories. There are theories. Well, who is that? Proved- who is they? The scientists, the, the quote scientists who have studied them. Go just look up. Can, can you name some of those scientists for me? Because because I want to see yeah. if your interest in this was uh, genuine or are you actually just kind of saying something uh, that you have no clue is true uh, anyway, but you just don't know if anybody else can uh, refute. So this is like, well, I can, and if, if you can take my word or not. I'm not going to now pull up. Uh, so, I'm definitely uh, not going to take your word. That's not how so evidence works. I've just done a quick Google search. It says here that the scientific consensus on crop, crop circles is that they are constructed by human beings as hoaxes, advertising, or art. There's a New York Times article saying crop circles were made by super, supernatural forces named Doug and Dave. Like, every <laughs> reporting on crop <laughs> circles is that they are man-made. So... How does that mean? Here's here's my problem. Listen to the thrill in your voice that you have, like, oh, you're so superior. You just just disproved me. You didn't disprove anything because there are over, I think, 20,000 crop circles on this planet that have not... Uh 
you know, investigated or studied by anybody. But yes, I, but all the ones that have been have <laughs> been proven to be made by humans. Mm -hmm. So, if, if what percentage have, have so if, if, oh, so every time I don't know. Do, do you believe that God did the crop circles? Is that what you're what you're going at? Do you believe God is responsible for the crop circles? Uh, no, I don't believe God. I don't believe in that's, God. I'm, I so I, that's God. I'm having trouble how you're connecting this to theism or, or atheism. Your, your your thought process because you worship science and and you know there. Let's take hey, uh, Katie, Katie, Katie. Can I correct you real quick, Katie? Can I correct you? You don't know me. <laughs> so you don't know what I worship. You don't know what I believe. The only thing you're evidence, the only thing you're evidencing at this moment is that you're willing to allow your stuff yourself to believe stuff without evidence. You just made an assertion about me and you literally don't know me. Um, but you opened up this conversation in the same way. You said you atheist believe. And I'm trying to figure out like. When have you heard my beliefs? I don't know if you know Jamie's beliefs. I don't actually talk about my beliefs very much. So what you're demonstrating here is that you actually don't have a solid epistemology. You don't have something that, where you say, before I say I know this, I need to have evidence. Because you've said several things in this call already that you could have no evidence for. But yet you keep saying it. Just a few moments ago, you said, well, Jamie is speaking to me as being superior. And it's like, wait a minute, where are you getting the evidence for this stuff? You're just making claims over and over again without requiring yourself to get understanding first. And I find that a little disingenuous, Katie. Hang, uh, uh, how, do, how, how do you know what I think when you never listen to me? You don't listen to one thing I say. You never let me finish a sentence. I haven't claimed to know what you think, Katie. I called out what you said about what you claim to know about what we believe. But you didn't let me. You didn't let me explain my claim. Okay, I, here's my claim about you that I wrote down. Uh, it's not the only one, but I don't remember them all. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not interested in your claims about me, Katie, because the thing that I know is that well, you don't you know said me. I, you said they're false. You said they're false. Because you don't you know me. You are interested. You're interested enough. You're okay. interested enough to tell me that I'm making. Okay, you. let's chill. You're not interested enough. I'm whoa, 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 chill. Katie, uh, tell us what you do believe. Go ahead. I heard um, Durante to go on and on about how almost everyone believes blah, blah, blah to a, a, a previous caller. What is that called by as, as a logical fallacy? What do they call it when we... We say, well, almost everybody believes that, or most people believe that, so it has to be true. That's a logical fallacy, okay? And so is saying this business about... I, I didn't say that, Katie. That was studied. You did say it. I wrote it down as you... Katie, said. I said a statistical majority, Katie. What's the difference? Oh, one is backed by statistics. Hmm. You can scoff, but we use statistical models <laughs> all the time. So, that, so you're saying that the truth is ascertained by numbers, by a majority. I didn't of say, I didn't make a truth claim uh, attached Christians to that. that. Christians use that argument every day and get refuted on these phone calls every single day. Okay, so let's let's not play games here. Okay, so Katie, I, I feel like you, 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 you're, you're kind of jumping all over the place. You're, you're, you keep making uh, claims that, that are not actually rooted in anything, and you're just moving from one place to the other. How about this? The question that Jamie asked is, what is it that you believe, Katie? Let's start there. About what? Well, you said you had a belief about Durante. You, 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 are, you are assaulting our epistemology, um, and we are defending it. And you seem to have a distrust in science. Like, what's your problem with science? All you're doing is coming back at me the same way that, that believers come back at you with the same stuff. It's ad hominem, ad hominem, ad hominem. No, no, no. Why, why do you not 
allow us to use the site like the scientific method is a provable method to seek the best models that most approximate truth we don't think that they're perfect but they have given us plenty of useful stuff and that's why i fall back on science and uh and, and evidence-based thinking. And I don't see the problem with that, but I feel that you do see a problem in that, and I'm trying to figure out what the problem is. Well, have you ever heard of the Broken Science Initiative or such a thing as the replication uh, crisis? Do you know anything about either of those two topics? No, I've, I've not heard of that. Okay, so the Broken Science Initiative is a group of scientists. These were, this is a group that was put together by uh, Greg Glassman, who founded CrossFit, um, uh, to bring together scientists. It's the, their, their slogan is, when consensus replaces predictive value, science becomes nonsense. And what they are addressing is that uh, when you said science uh, proves itself to itself, that science is reliable because it's always validated, by other science, that is flat out not true anymore. Do you know that? That the, the science, scientific findings no, are, are, are being no, the, like, the, like the, the findings of science can be proven wrong, but the scientific method is it's a method it's not it, it is in and of itself not a claim of truth on anything. It's a methodology to seek truth or at least a model that approximates truth. So that's what I go with. And if this group of people, and also CrossFit has, is dubious in its, in its efficacy when, when analyzed compared to just like normal weightlifting or whatever. But anyway, that's another topic. So, but the, 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 the distrust of the consensus is what led us to things like vaccine, like vaccine hesitancy and COVID denial. And the reason why we have measles again, like I get real pissed off when people are contrarian for contrarian's sake, mm -hmm. because it hurts people. And well, so, you know what, Jamie, people, you know what, Jamie, your mind, you don't have an honest mind anyway, because you don't listen to anything but what's in your own head. You know, OK, really this call is done. If you're going yep. to attack me, you're gone. Yep. No, I will not <laughs> countenance personal attacks. Mm -mm. You can try and argue against my points, but you do not come at me as a person. Yeah. Yeah. Th th this is one of those people uh, that, that you, you, I definitely run into a lot. And it's it's whether they're a believer or non-believer, you find these type of personalities that says everybody has to agree with me, even though I don't have to have a reason why I why I believe what I believe. And it's everybody else is wrong. And I know why you're wrong. You're wrong. This is no different than, than a believer telling somebody, well, you just can't hear this because there's some demon that's in your mind. You just can't hear this because you're you're anti-Christ. And to, to have somebody like this to literally be telling us who we are, what we believe, what we think, uh, it's, again, to me, I don't engage conversations like that a lot because the moment you tell me you know something about me and you don't know me, then you've already demonstrated to me that you give yourself permission to believe stuff without actual evidence. You've already shown me that you do not have a sound epistemology. And you can almost tell every time that those conversations are going to degenerate down into this <laughs> and, and referencing scientific consensus or um, statistical uh the, the the prevalence of statistical proofs is not an argument from uh, a, a, like populism. It's not sure. argument about populism because it's backed by evidence. Uh, yes. it's, we, we don't believe the consensus because it's a consensus. We believe it's a, we believe in the consensus because we know the consensus has been come to through rigorous fucking testing. <laughs> so I'm I, oh, I get so. Angry, uh, like I was Durant. I was brought on to be the chill guy, the chill <laughs> every man. But every man has his limit, and I'm and, sure. I'm, at, and I'm at that limit. 